back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm so excited to be sharing it with you guys. So it's just going to be a tutorial on the makeup that I'm wearing right now. And this is going to be my Valentine's Day inspired makeup look. So in my January favorites video, I mentioned my Tardis Pro eyeshadow palette. I've been obsessed with this recently. It's been like the only eyeshadow palette that I use. So if you guys don't know what it looks like, here you go. It has a lot of really pretty pink and purple colors in here, which is why I wanted to go ahead and use it to film the Valentine's Day makeup look. So I love the way that this turned out. I think it's perfect for something that incorporates those pink and purple colors, but it's still pretty neutral. It's not over the top, over dramatic. Um, and I just think it's perfect. I love the way that it turned out. And also I only show you guys how I did my eyes just because I don't want this video to be super, super long. If you're interested in seeing how I do my foundation, I did recently post an everyday makeup routine and that's pretty much how I did my foundation today. So I'll just link that video down below if you want to go and watch it and see how I did my face makeup. But just for this video, I'm going to be showing you how I created this eye look and yeah, I hope you guys love it. And if you're interested in seeing how I created it, just keep on watching. So I had already primed my eyes right here. I'm just going in with a face powder and setting it. That way my eyelids aren't sticky and it'll make my eyeshadows blend out a little bit easier. And then for my transition shade, I'm taking that one right there. It's not too dark. It's actually pretty similar to my skin tone, but it has more of a pink tone to it. And I'm just taking it on a fluffy brush and working it through my crease with back and forth motions as well as circular motions to make sure that I have no harsh lines. And you'll see I spent a lot of time with this color. I want to make sure that it's really blended out and that there are no harsh lines. So a lot of blending and then I will go in with a little bit more color to darken it a little bit. But just work in steps and only add a little bit at a time. That way it's not too intense. And you don't have to be too precise with this color. You're not really going to be able to see it later. It's just going to give that nice gradient effect once you start putting darker colors on top. And then right here, I'm just going in with a clean brush. There's absolutely no product on here, and I'm just going over the edges to make sure, like I said earlier, that it's nice and seamless and that there are no harsh lines. So then I'm going to go in with that really pretty pink cranberry color, and I'm going to use a really, really light hand with this. I'm not putting on a lot of product. I'm just going to lightly dust that through my crease. I'm just kind of going to go over where I went with that transition color, and it's going to start to warm everything up a little bit and give more of that pink tone. And then again, I'm going to go in with that blending brush and just make sure that it's nice and seamless. And you guys are going to see me go in with this brush a ton throughout this look. You just want to make sure that you're constantly blending and that everything is just nice and smooth. And then right here, I'm going to go in with a little bit more of that pink color, but this time I'm going to be more precise with it and put it directly into my crease. I'm not going to blend it up and downward too much because I really want to concentrate the color in the crease of my eye and add more depth to the look. And then again with the blending brush because we're going to be blending non-stop. So then I decided to go in with my lid color. I'm using that really pretty purple one. It's one of the shimmers from the palette. And I'm just using my finger to press that onto my eyelid. I personally prefer to use my finger when I apply lid colors just because I find I get the most pigment from the color without getting any fallout. Also, you're going to see weird like glares and shadows on my face while I'm doing this. That's because the sun was setting and it kept reflecting on my mirror and then onto my face. But I couldn't cut out the clip of me putting on my lid color. So if you guys are wondering about the lighting, that is why it looks like that. And then I'm going to go back in with the brush that I used for the pink color. I didn't pick up any more product, but I'm just going to make sure that there's no harsh line between the lid color and the crease. And then right there, I'm just adding a little bit more of the lid color because when I was blending, it lost some of its intensity. And then one more time with the blending brush. 
And then I went ahead and did my eyeliner off camera because I could not get it to look good while trying to like hold the mirror at the same time. So I just did that off camera and then I'm going to go in with that darker purple color to darken up the outer corner a little bit. And I'm going to use a little tiny pencil brush and be really precise with this because I don't want it to look messy. I'm just going to really focus it on the very outer V and I'm going to make sure that it's nice and blended in with the lid color. And then once there's not a lot of product on my brush, I'm going to work on bringing it more towards the inner corner as well as blending it upward. And then I'm going to go back in with the brush that I used for the pink color. I'm just going to blend out the edge of the shadows. And then I topped everything off with some mascara. I like to put on the top and bottom lashes. And definitely add fake lashes if you want the look to be more intense. I just didn't want it to be too over the top. But it would definitely make it look a lot more dramatic if that's what you're going for. And then here's just a look at the final result. This look was so, so easy to do, and I love the way that it turned out. I hope you guys like the way that the makeup turned out if you wanted to make it more dramatic that would be so easy to do by just adding like a darker color in the crease or adding fake lashes so definitely play around with it if you want to make it more your own but like I said I love the way that it turned out I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you're new to my channel make sure you are subscribed and make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I will go ahead and talk to you guys in my next video bye